Hi, this is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover return codes, the test command, and the if statement. So every command in Unix or Linux that you run, um, when it completes, it passes back a return code. The return code, by convention, um, is zero if the command was successful, and non-zero if the command had an issue or some kind of failure. So let me run a command here. Uh, I'm going to use just ls, for example. And if I want to check the return code of that command, I can reference the special variable dollar sign question mark. Dollar sign question mark um, always had contains the return code of the last command that was run. So if I run echo dollar sign question mark, I can see the return code of ls, the last command I ran, was zero. Now if I were to have run something like ls and then given it a name of a file that doesn't exist, and then check the return code um, on that, you can see the return code is two which means there was a uh, failure issue. Alright, there's also a command um, called true. All it does is give you a return code of zero. There's a command called false. And all it does is give you a return code of non-zero. You can also um, prefix any command with an exclamation point. And what that'll do is it'll take the command and if it had a zero return code, it'll change it to be non-zero. And if you ran a command that had a non-zero return code, it'll change it to be zero. So one way to illustrate that is if I run exclamation point false, check the return code there, <coughs> you can see it's zero. If I run exclamation point true, check the return code, you can see it's one. So basically it takes the return code you have and give, returns back the opposite of it. This can be useful depending on if you're using the if statement and you want to ask a question that has a negative in it. All right, let's, so let's move on to the test command. A lot of people have seen in scripts something that looks like this. You know, if you have if, and then the square bracket, and then some kind of statement here. So what's being done here is basically this is using the test command. A lot of people don't know, but if you the equivalent to this, if you run test, you can give it the same statement. So this command here and the bracket command here, these are equivalent. The square bracket is just a shortcut to the test command. Now the test or bracket command it doesn't really do anything fancy. All, all it's doing is it evaluates the statement and if the statement's true it'll give you a zero return code. If the statement's false it'll give you a non-zero return code. And that's pretty easy to show here if I run let me just run this command. So bracket 5 equals 5 Let's check its return code it gave us a return code of zero. So the bracket evaluated this, it was true, so it gave us a return code of zero. Let's run the same command but change it. So now we're asking is 5 equal to 4? Let's check the return code there. It gave us a non-zero return code which means failure or in this case the, the statement's false. So as you can see, test or the bracket, it's just a standard command. All it does is evaluate a statement and it passes back the results in the return code. Zero means the statement was true, non-zero means the statement was false. And this is this is critical to understand when you get to the if statement. So let's look at that next. So the if statement, let me pull up the one I just ran a second ago. So what it's doing here is it takes whatever command you specify here right after the word if, it runs this command if the command has a return code of zero, then it'll run whatever code you have within the if statement. If this command here has a non-zero return code, then it skips over whatever code you have within the if statement. So in this case, if I run if 5 equals 5, then echo true, the if statement will run this command. It has a return code of zero. Based on that, it'll run this code within the if statement and we see the word true here. Now if I change this up a little bit and I say 5 equals 4, let me run that, what happens is 
the if statement will run this command. It has a return code of non-zero, because this is a false statement, and it'll skip over this code, and that's why we don't see the word true echoed here. Okay, so one, one thing to, that can be helpful to, to realize is you don't have to use the bracket command after the if statement. You can put any command you want right here. And based on the return code of that command, the if statement will either run the code over here or it'll skip it. So you can do something like, we can change this to if true, which we already showed the true command just has an exit code of zero then echo true, or we can say if false, then echo true, and this one, since this returns an, a non-zero non return code, it skips over the code. Now, what, what I've seen a lot of people do in scripts is they'll do something like this. They'll have some kind of statement they want to run. They'll run the statement. Then they'll use dollar sign question mark to load the return code of this into a variable, and then they'll have an if statement. They'll say if that return code equals zero, then do something. Well, you can simplify this script into this, where since we know that the if statement, all it's doing is running a command and basing um, whether it does this on the return code or not, you can just put the command directly in here. So this will run if, it'll run your grep statement here. Grep will return zero if it finds the string and grep will return non-zero if it doesn't find the string. So what this if statement is saying is, it says if some string is in this file, then go ahead and run the code right here. So you can see the difference here. This is just a little bit more complicated up here where we're, you know, running the command, loading this into return code variable, checking the return code to see if it's equal to zero. All that's kind of unnecessary. We can just run directly in the if statement if grep some string, this, this. This is all run, evaluated. The return code is either zero or non-zero. If it's zero, which grep will always return if it finds the string, then it'll run this set of code. So hopefully you found this uh, video helpful and learned a couple things. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.